Well, what what might begin to explain some of these some of these um, uh, unexplained biologies? Uh, well, let's look at AAV. AAV is a virus. For uh, half a billion years, viruses have been infecting vertebrate cells uh, and have gotten good at it. And so AAV follows this pathway as well. We have uh, binding to a cell surface receptor. We've got our endosomes going from early to late to lysosomes that will digest up the virus and destroy it. We also have escape from endosomes, and in the escape from endosomes, some of the viral capsids uh, viruses can go into the proteasome where they're digested and can be displayed in the context of HLA class one on the surfaces of cells, which then trigger a cytotoxic T cell response, which is often used to contain a viral infection. In addition, some of these viral particles will make their way into the nucleus uh, where they uncoat. AAV is a single-stranded DNA, as I pointed out before, uh, and there are positive and negative strands. These positive and negative strands may come together to give us a double-stranded DNA, or we may get second-strand synthesis off of them, which gives us that double-stranded DNA. That double-stranded DNA then can form um, an episome, which can begin to consolidate and form multiple episomes together, which allow for multiple transgene um, DNAs uh, in a circular concatamer. And then a small proportion will integrate into the host genome, as I'll discuss a little bit later. So lots of things going on here, uh, and the kinetics of this depend upon the serotype, depend upon the cell target, depend upon the species, uh, and depend upon the size of the vector genome. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, for AAV5 uh, factor eight, uh, there's another wrinkle to this. It turns out that some assembly is required and maybe a little more than for other transgenes. Scientists at Biomarin uh, have been working in, on this and uh, uh, some of this was reported in the PASI paper from earlier in 2020. Uh, but this is an oversized transgene, as I mentioned. It barely fits into the AAV. And so what that means is that all of these vector particles are missing either the five prime or the three prime end of the transgene. Uh, and that means an additional step is required in order to make a full, uh, a full length transgene. Uh, and so we've talked about on the previous slide, the fact that positive and negative strands come together. Um, but in addition, um, we are going to need to seed these strands anneal in such a way that the full length factor eight can be created. Uh, and using PBMCs as a surrogate and looking about four weeks after transduction, what the scientists have found is that uh, these five prime and three prime fragments will come together. And in about four weeks, more than half of the, uh, of the genomes found do contain full length gene and under half contain partial fragments that are eventually going to go away. Uh, and so during this period of time, full length transgene is made and then it undergoes what I showed on the previous slide, episomal formation uh, and eventually the creation of factor eight mRNA and then the factor eight protein itself. So an additional complication that can add to the variability um, and um, um, create, uh, create additional uh, inefficiencies in the creation of the final factor eight transgene. I alluded to an immune response uh, and suffice to say, we don't have time to go into it. It's very complicated. I've referred to two, um, uh, two review articles from the Herzog and um, um, uh, Mingazi laboratories that are shown here at the bottom. Uh, and I'll simply point out that there are multiple, multiple immune responses that can occur uh, they are going to be vector dependent, serotype dependent, uh, transgene dependent, uh, and tissue dependent, um, but they will influence the eventual outcome. I also just want to point out that it's, uh, there's evidence, at least for factor eight, that there may be factor eight related causes of hepatotoxicity uh, overlaid upon the immune response. Uh, and so that's not something that's been well worked out at all, but factor eight is a very challenging protein to make by cells. Uh, and uh, that may be a problem with the transgene as well.